I don't know about you, but I'm still shaking. I had nothing to do with the game, so I'm sure I can only imagine how you're feeling right now. But let's let's back up, okay? We all know you guys won. You have made yourself to the AFC title game yet another year in a row. But for you, watching on the sidelines, when you see Mahomes go down and take a kind of hit like that, what, what's going through your brain? How do you process that? How do you get yourself ready to be able to go out there and take on the task like you did tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's always tough. I mean, Patrick's a great competitor. And, uh, you know, throughout his career since I've been here, he hasn't gone down very often. And, um, you know, my job always is to be prepared no matter what and uh, for things like this. And, you know, I felt like I was prepared and, you know, did the best I could when, once I got in there. So let's talk about those great players because things like this, don't happen when your half billion dollar man goes down. Uh, everyone thinks, you know, without Patrick Mahomes, how would the Chiefs ever win? But you guys go out there and you show them how resilient you are as a team. Can you talk about your teammates and, and what was maybe going on in the huddle in order for you guys to pull it together and really pull it off in the end? I think, I mean, there's always confidence. I think they build your confidence up, especially once I entered the huddle. You know, they always said, I have, I have your back. And uh, it's good to hear once you first get in there. And we have a lot of veteran guys. They've been through this. They've been through the playoffs before. And, um, you know, it's just great for them to feel confident in me and, uh, you know, lead me towards, uh, you know, going out there and making some plays. You sacrificed your body on <laughs> one of those plays. You knew that the AFC title game was on the line. If you guys just got that first down, what was going through your head as you started to lower your shoulder and realize, hey, you're about to hit a, a concrete wall? Yeah, I mean, you know, once I get out there, you know, obviously my old age trying to get there for 14 yards doesn't normally happen. But I looked at the sideline, I saw the, you know, first down marker, and I knew I had an opportunity to get there. And, you know, always the coach said anything, anytime on a third down, just try to get the first down, put your body out there, especially in this situation. You know, this team has given me so much, so I'll put my body out there for them. So I got to ask you about that sprint out pass to Hill at the very end to secure the win. Who, who made that call? What was going through your mind? Uh, did you feel confident about it? It takes a lot of guts, by, especially by Andy Reid, to make that call. So, so kind of what went behind that? Yeah, I mean, we discussed it on the sideline. And uh, every Saturday night, we have a bunch of plays that, you know, me, Patrick, and all the coaching staff go through, and especially fourth down. So when these situations arise, uh, we know the plays that we're going to call and get to and this play come, came up it was one of my plays that I marked down and uh you know I felt confident I mean one-on-one -on -one coverage with Tyreek Hill uh you know high percentage of his time he's going to make the play so he did a great job and I just had to put the ball where it needed to be all right well hey Chad thank you so much appreciate your time uh congratulations and hopefully we're talking again next week yep thank you so much